Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to rename courses on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you've got one of the solar models or non-solar models, this direction is gonna be the same for all of them. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So what's a course? At this point, I'm, uh, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you've already got courses on your Instinct. A course, I always think of it in terms of a golf course. You've got hole one, hole two, hole three. All those are different locations. When you put them all together and you follow them, that's a course. Your Garmin is going to be the exact same way. You've got a collection of locations that you've got saved, and now you've got a course where you're going from location to location until you complete all of them, and that's your course. Let's go ahead and go to it. There's a couple of different ways to get to it. The easiest way is press the GPS button, and you can choose one of your activities. I always just go down to navigate, press GPS to select navigate. And then if you go down, you'll notice courses. I'm gonna go ahead and press GPS to select courses. Now I'm gonna show you three different ways to do it. First and foremost, yes, you can rename them on your Garmin Instinct. I would only do that if you don't have access to a phone or access to a computer because it's a real pain to do. You'll notice in my case, I've got two different courses here, Lake House 2 BOA and Lakeside Run. Any course you want to rename, all you're going to do is select the given course. Let's go ahead and do it with this first one. I select the course. If I arrow down, there's going to be an option for name. I can press GPS to select name. And you'll notice that it doesn't give you a whole lot of detail. It just shows you a check mark. If I press the GPS button, that'll take me back. If I want to actually edit the name, I have to press the down button to get off of the check and get to the backspace button. So when I press GPS now, it takes me into the editor. By default, it puts me at the backspace button. I can backspace and then I can change this to whatever I want. So let's just change it to a uh, lake house. And you'll see where this is a pain is you're basically having to use a scroll wheel over here to rename it. I'm gonna press GPS and I'm gonna say lake house one. Once you're done with your uh, renaming, you can go back to the check mark, press check, and we've successfully renamed our course using our Garmin Instinct watch. And that works just fine. Once you're done, you can press the back button, go rename another one, or if you're done completely, you can press back and go all the way to your main screen. You can do it on your watch. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it using the Garmin, in, uh, Garmin Connect app on your phone. And then I'll also show you how you can do it using the Garmin Connect website. Okay, so now I'm on my phone. Now I'm an iOS user. This should be about the same for an Android user, but just know that you're watching somebody who's using an Apple phone. I'm going to open the Garmin Connect app. And as always, if you've got it set up that way, it should automatically sync any information from my watch and update anything that needs changing. That's what it's doing up in the upper in the in the upper right hand corner. To get to our courses on the app, I'm, again, I mentioned, I think it's a lot easier to edit these things on the app or on the website. All we're gonna do is at the bottom right, there's a dot, uh, three dots that says more. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna click on training once we get into the more section. Under training, you'll see the option for courses. When we open it up, we're gonna see the same thing we saw on my watch, Lakeside and Lake House One. So if I wanna edit one of those, all I'm gonna do is click on the one that I wanna edit, and at the upper right hand corner, you'll see three dots. I can click on the three dots and I can click on edit. Now, the part that's tricky about renaming it on the app is now I'm in the editing screen, but you don't see anything that says anything about renaming. You have to scroll up from the bottom until you get to course name. Then I can click on course name and I'm in the editor to rename the course. So again, we set it as Lake House One. Now I can actually use a keypad and I can change it to anything I want. So I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know, Lake House App. Whatever you wanna set it as. And then once you're done, you can just click the back arrow and then click Save. And now we've successfully renamed our course using the Garmin Connect app. Whole lot easier on the app. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on the website. You'll see it's very easy on the website as well. Okay, so now I'm on my computer and all I've done is gone to connect.garmin Dot com and I've logged into my Garmin Connect account. Now, this information that you're seeing on the computer can be customized depending on the user. On the left-hand side, though, you'll see a menu option. This can't be changed. You should be seeing the exact same thing under yours as, you're seeing, as I'm seeing under mine. There's a section called Training. If you click on Training, 
you'll notice that courses is listed under training. So if I click on courses, it'll take me to my saved courses. You'll notice in this case, it says zero of two courses currently displayed, reset all map filters to show everything. You see that you just click on show everything and you should see all of your courses. We're seeing the same thing we saw in the app. We're seeing Lakeside and then we're seeing Lake House app. Remember, this is the one that we renamed. We started as Lake House One on my Garmin uh, Instinct watch. Then we renamed it in the app to Lake House app. If I want to rename it again, I can click on it. And this is a little bit tricky because they don't show you. It's like right now I'm just looking at the course. If I want to rename it or edit it, there's three dots down here at the bottom right. If I click on those, there's an option for edit. So now that I've clicked on edit, I'm in the editor. I can change some values on it. One of the things I can do is I can click the pencil mark out to the right of the name, and that gives me the option to rename it. And again, I can use a uh, keyboard and I can change it to anything I want. So I'm just going to change it to web. I'm going to click on the check to save it, and then I'm going to save changes. And now we've successfully renamed this course using the Garmin Connect website. Again, any kind of changes like that, I recommend using the Garmin Connect website or using the app versus the Instinct Watch, but you can do it from any three of them and it'll sync to all of them depending on your preference. I hope this video helps. This is just a quick look at how to rename courses for your Garmin Instinct Watch in any of those three manners. As always, if you've got questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.